The folks at Beavercraft sent me this bird carving kit, so we're going to give that a shot this week and see how it goes. Hopefully, all the fingers stay attached to no cuts. I started by cutting out the three template pieces, our left and right side, and then our top section. I then glued those on just using some regular wood glue. It dried rather quickly, and I was ready to start carving. I like that the kit includes some tape to wrap your fingers to help prevent cuts. I started by carving the tail of the bird from one side to the other, working my way down to the template lines and then getting that nice and smooth across from left to right. With the top of the tail getting close, I now could flip over and work on the underside of the tail, kind of getting a little shape to that side as well. With the tail close to the right shape, I then moved to the back and head of the bird. Again, just following the template lines down each side and connecting those in the middle. With the top and bottom profiles roughly where I need them, I glued on the other template to the back and then started working on the side profiles. Here I'm flaring out the tail section to give it its shape. And then working the side of the bird and the beak down to a point. With the bird in its rough shape here, it's just a matter of working in a little more detail, curving things out a little bit, um, just making it a little more graceful transitions between the different sides. And here I'm rounding over from the belly, up the back, up to the top of the bird on both sides. I decided I was happy with the carving at this point, so I grabbed the sandpaper that's included with the kit and just started smoothing out any rough marks left from the knife. I didn't take out every mark because I wanted it to look like a hand carved bird. Once happy with the sanding, I used the beeswax that came with the kit and sealed it up. As you can see, I've got my little bird carved. I would say not too bad for my first try. And the kit comes with uh, two wooden blocks, so you can do another one sometime. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you give it a try one day. Thanks. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for new video notifications, like, comment, and share. There's also a link below to any tools or products used during this video.